Yo, what's going on guys? Blue here coming at you with another PGA 2K21 video. And today is gonna be a double upload day. I had no idea, but they they released the new Clubhouse Pass um, uh, for PGA 2K21 right now. It's out right now, guys, and you gotta check this out. There's so much cool content going on. Um, I'm gonna go over it real quick. We're gonna show you the pass. We're gonna unlock all the tiers. We're gonna take a look at the equipment. Let's get right into it. So. Um, if you go to pgatour.2k.com slash clubhouse, you get uh, you get a little write-up on what the pass does. Um, it seems here that the three tiers of clubhouse pass are available. Um, so you get 15 tiers that are free of the seven av 75 available. So if you don't want to spend any money, you do get 15 tiers of free rewards. The premium pass is available that unlocks all 75 rewards. And then you have the premium plus pass that's available at $15. Guys, if you've been playing the game for a long time and you have a lot of coins uh, stacked up, um, I suggest you just go for the premium pass um, because you can unlock all the tiers with your in-game currency that you've earned that you've already been playing with um, since the beginning. Uh, if you're new to the game and you haven't, uh, you don't have a lot of stuff and you want to unlock everything right away as fast as possible, uh, you can get that 20 tier unlock boost with the premium pass. So definitely um, go for that. Um, just looking through what else is going on here. Again, this is brand new. I hopped on here. Just wanted to record the video real quick and get it out uh, and get it to, in, into your guys' hands so you can take a look at what's going on. The two new brands, Titleist and Footjoy, man. Two really, really good brands to deal with. I hope they got some cool Titleist clubs um, we, can, uh, we, can, we can test out. Um, and hopefully, maybe we'll make a new bag video too. When while we're at it, uh, we'll update the current bag videos that we got going on for the perfect and the fast. If you haven't checked those out, I would uh, right away. Um, I believe there's also a patch that was released with this. Um, I haven't been able to find the information on it, guys, but there is a patch uh, that was released on top of this. So far, what I know of the patch is that uh, console players can now toggle. Uh, a 60 FPS um, option so that consoles can play the game, uh, new gen consoles can play the game at 60 frames per second, which is going to be so good for you guys. Um, the, the higher frames per second is so much better uh, to play the game on. So that's that that that's what we got up on the website. I don't think there's anything more um, available news wise from the uh, PGA Tour people. The Clubhouse Pass is there. Um, Let's see if we could find any information on a patch, the latest patch. Clubhouse 2 patch featuring, yeah, I think this is just what we read. Uh, let's see, go. Let's see if there's any information on the actual patch itself, if there's anything content-wise that was updated. Uh, for more information that we did already. Yeah, nothing, nothing available at face value, guys. But again, I just wanted to get on, record this video, and um, and get you the information out here on the actual club pass um, before before it became too stale, man. You got to get the content fresh while it's uh, while it's there, right? So let's take a look at this club pass right away, guys. So I've already unlocked the club pass. Again, like I said, you can unlock tiers. Um, with your in-game currency, so I'm gonna unlock the whole thing right now. I could do 30 tiers for 3,700 bucks, 3,700 in-game currency coins. We won't call it bucks. Let's we've unlocked the 37. Let's see what we got one by one here. Um, tier two Titleist baseball cap, another baseball cap from Titleist, a Footjoy glove. Um, this is a looking to be like a three wood Titleist TSI two three wood. Uh, basic club. Ooh, some nice shoes there. Some legendary items. An XP boost. Ooh, another. So a hybrid set as well. Foot joy. Foot joy stuff. In game coins. Oh, this is a new driver. New driver in the game. Maybe. Do we get a longer driver? How cool would it be if they release a longer driver, guys? And we'll go through and look at all this stuff. Um. One by one, more of the clubs than I'm. I'm not going to go through much of the clothes items, but we'll we'll take a quick look. Um, hat, another driver there. I think it'll be easier if I just accept them all. 
accept them all we'll just go through it like this right so we got so this is a driver ts2 driver doesn't look like it's got more distance but we'll see maybe this can replace our uh, our more forgiving driver that we use right now which is an hb driver um couple of a uh, couple of wedges wedge option there uh, i thought there was a wedge option at the beginning too psi 3 this driver looks to be a little bit on the long side another driver these are the woods i guess these would be the woods, right We'll take a look at it in the, uh, in the thing. So I still have another uh, another bunch to unlock. So let's unlock the next thirty. Let's unlock the next thirty. We'll just unlock them all, and then we'll go take a quick look at what's going on with stuff. I think we still got more to unlock. Ten more to unlock, and we've unlocked the entirety of the pass. So there you have it, complete pass. Let's see what the ultimate. Um, oh, no. Tier at a time, I guess. I have to do it one tier at a time now. I think it's a driver. It's a brand new purple driver. Can we see a longer driver in the game than the one that we, everybody's been using? Oh, this is full distance. Is, I, I don't remember if the other one is full distance or not. But this is going to be just as long as the Bridgestone, so there's a new option uh, for those who want to play with at least the longest Bridgestone driver. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's take a look what's going on on the uh, on the scene. So, um, new driver unlocks. Where are they at? Here we go. So this tightless driver coming in at two seventy, about a two seventy yard carry. This is a basic driver, very very forgiving driver here with a two seventy carry. Interesting for for those who. Uh, we don't have a lot of coins uh you'll be getting this as a free um a free unlock as well if you're not going to spend any money that's part of the free unlocks uh let's see there was two so there's four drivers released in this five drivers released in this update guys psi 3 and the ts3 anxious to see what the difference is here the psi 3 and the ts2 so this one is a 286 carry driver with a lot of forgiveness to it and some swing plane forgiveness too. If you tend to have swing plane issues, maybe my next bag, the swing plane bag. And also, I think this might be the first 11 degree driver, guys. So we have an 11 degree driver available here. Um, not 100% sure on that one, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look. And then uh, the TS2 was released. This one coming in just a little bit shorter than the other one with, again, forgiveness and swing plane as a bonus, uh, another 11 degree driver. And then we have two purple drivers, the TSI-3 carrying 296 with the 11 degrees available. So we now have a new king of the long drive, but it does come at the expense of being a slightly higher club. We'll test this one out for sure. And then we have the um, the S3 coming in at 294, uh, and the difference between say I picked this one here. The difference between the uh, the two purple tightless clubs is going to be this one has a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit more uh, shot shaping, and a little bit more distance control for basically the same carry as the old Bridgestone. Now let's compare it to the old Bridgestone driver that everybody used. Um, where are we at here? So the Bridgestone has less shot shaping, less forgiveness, but a little bit more swing plane forgiveness and a little less distance control. I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say that those who unlock these two clubs, this Bridgestone is no longer gonna be used. Everybody is going to switch over to these new tightless drivers. So they've now replaced the king of driver in the game from the Bridgestone to the tightless TS3 and the tightless TSI3. Um, if I had to use one or the other, I'd probably use the TS3, give myself a slightly better uh, forgiveness, slightly better shot shaping and distance control over the, uh, the TSI3 that's gonna give you two more yards at distance. Um, let's compare it back to 
my uh, so the the new driver that I use the, the this new Titleist driver this purple one is identical to the to the perfect driver that I suggest we, we you guys use. So this perfect driver that I've been using to hit is actually identical stats as this new um, this new Titleist driver, guys. So I'm going to be switching it over to the TS3 Titleist. That's actually going to be my new driver because it's exactly the same driver um, that I was telling you guys to hit for the perfects. And because I have an 11 degree option on this driver, I actually get more carry. I can get a one yard more than my than my previous perfect driver. So we'll have to update that bag with the new club pass um, coming up here. All right, let's take a look at the woods. <clears throat> I've been using uh, obviously the Mizuno wood, the ST200, which was which was part of the last club pass. Let's take a look at the woods that were released for um, this newest edition. So the Titleist TSI2 being the free edition wood that that was released here. Uh, distance obviously not so much, but a lot of forgiveness, a lot of distance distance control uh, going on here. And then um, let's go to the big boys. So there was some gold ones we unlocked here. Um, basically, um, this, the TS2 and the TSI3, which is going to be pretty common throughout. Um, looking looking like uh, there's a bit of a forgiveness boost here, swing plane boost at the expense of a little bit of distance. And then a little bit more forgiveness on this one at the expense of more distance. And then we have the purple versions, which again... This is equal to the Mizuno. So we'll swap over to the Titleist one. So this is equal to the Mizuno 3-wood that I was using uh, from the last club pass. So obviously we'll use the new one. And they also gave me another version that has a little more forgiveness, a little more shot shaping, swing plane a little bit less with a little bit more distance control. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and use this one. For the 2-yard sacrifice, I can gain a little bit more control over my club. I think that's an absolute beauty right here. So that's again the new, uh, the new Titleist driver already making it into my bag, and the new Titleist three wood making it into my bag. Let's take a look now. I've been using this gold, um, I've been using this gold Mizuno uh, three hybrid that carries 216 yards. They did just release again. This is the free content here, which is the Titleist TS2. You'll be getting this one for free. Uh, so if you don't have the coins and you like the Titleist clubs, you can already use this one here. A lot more forgiveness, a lot more distance control on the club that I use at the expense of some shot shaping and some distance. Um, again, for my gaps, if you guys want to see my my video on the bag and why I have certain clubs, I like to keep my gaps a little bit more even. So that's why we went with the, a little bit more distance here. Um, we do have the new gold TS3 um hybrid which probably comes in a three and a four not a five but the theirs comes 218 yards so it's actually two yards longer than the one that i'm currently using and it offers a little bit more shot shaping with a little bit more swing plane at the expense of forgiveness and and distance control so i won't switch over to this one i'll still use my mizuno um because i like the uh, i like the distance the two yards wouldn't have been a big deal but i don't want to i don't want to reduce forgiveness and distance control um just to gain that two yards um of, of difference and then let's take a look at the purple version so now the purple version is way longer uh with a lot less control and a lot less uh swing playing to it so this one goes 229 you have the four hybrid version at 220 as well that reduces it a little bit but again with the reduced forgiveness um i'm probably not looking to switch this just yet just see what the carry was for here 209 version here so uh, I'm not going to be looking to switch, but obviously this is a very, uh, very viable option. Um, if you guys have used even longer clubs, um, then then you can use that. Now we'll also look at the irons. So the free irons that just got released are uh, these ones right here, the Titleist T300s. These guys, you'll be getting these for free in Club Pass 2. Um, the gold set of irons is the T200s. And, uh, oh baby, this set, uh, really loses on distance for, oh, well, we're comparing it to the club for the, for the let's see. so let's compare it to my four iron. That will make more sense. Any wonder it was losing so much distance. So, uh, compared to my four iron lot, big distance hit, big shot shaping hit, but way more forgiving, way more swing playing. This might be the new club for the fast bag for the perfect bag guys. Let me, um, I'll, I'll make a video on that following this. 
I'll update my my bags for the for the perfect. Um, let's see compared to the, uh, the 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 gold version that I that I use here already. Lightless, no, nope, not exactly the same. Um, but maybe yeah. See, this gold version here is about the same thing, just a little extra forgiveness. Might be actually you know swapping to here. I'll have to redo the bags and see what's going on with with that. And then the purple version, um, a lot more distance. Usually the purple versions are the the bigger distance stuff. Um, and then we go down into, uh, what do we got for our 9-iron? Let's see, the gray version versus our 9-iron. So a little more distance, better shot shaping, forgiveness takes a hit, um, swing plane, um, gets a boost. So that's, that's an option there for gapping, not too bad. This one here takes a big hit on control, we don't want that for our 9-iron. Uh, same thing with this one here. So these might be good for the fasters. I wouldn't suggest them for those who are just starting trying to hit the perfects. I'd stay away from the tightless irons. And then we'll take a look at the new tightless wedges. So the tightless wedges, um, the SM8s, I believe there was two, right? Yep. Uh, no, there was only one, one version in the gray. So this is the free content that you guys will be getting. The tightless SM8 um, wedge. This one's very similar to the uh, Hogan. You lose a little bit of the distance, but you gain a lot of the a lot of the control stuff. So better shot shaping, more forgiveness, better swing plane. This could be a very viable option as long as it fits the gaps. Again, wedges uh, doesn't really matter the forgiveness and stuff. Like there's so much of it, um, it's not really going to affect your game all of that much. Um, but uh, if it fits your gaps, it's always great to have that extra control. There, it won't it won't hurt for sure. Uh, the Titleist SM8, the gold version, the legendary unlock. Um, again, swing plane, a little bit more distance at the expense of forgiveness and distance control. So that option is always there for you. And the purple uh, SM8, a lot of shot shaping, way more distance at the at the uh, at the expense of a lot of forgiveness and a lot of distance control. So again, uh, that's there if you need to make up your distances um, and your, your wedges are just too short, too far away from your 9-iron, this is a viable option uh, as well. Even though the forgiveness is way down, it's still way more, way, way more than halfway full on the, uh, on the meter there. Um, so there's your, there's your clubs, your wedges, your irons. A quick look at what's going on. I don't know if they released a putter. I didn't see one come through. Uh, I don't see a Titleist putter here. Don't see a tightless putter here. Nope. So they did not release a tightless putter. The Hogan Mizuno. No, I did not. They did not release a tightless putter. So there is no new putter to show you. Um, one thing I want to go see is that they release new customization stuff. No new customization stuff. So shafts and everything is still all the same. And then we could take a quick look at the clothes. Um, hats, we'll take a look at our Titleist hats. So here you go, guys. Here's all the new hats. So much new product for us to be messing around with. A lot of cool, a lot of cool hats. For your color combos and stuff, if you're a Titleist Foot Joy fan, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to dress your character in Titleist Foot Joy. Um, is there any shirts? No new shirts? Okay, no shirts from Titleist or from Footjoy. Ants. Unless they exist in the realm, like I have to pick. I seem to have it suggested that it unlocks stuff. Let me go see the basic polo and see. No, no new, no new unlock. So there's no shirts, no new shirts available for Titleist and Footjoy. Um, obviously, we'll go take a look at shoes here in a second. No new pants for Titleist and Footjoy. Uh, the shoes, Footjoy. Here we go. A lot of new shoe combinations, and obviously some really cool ones like these funky guys right here. Some very nice Footjoy shoes. I'm a big fan of Footjoy. Uh, one of my one of my pairs of uh, golf shoes, golf cleats are. A lot of new, lot of new stuff. A lot of cool, funky color combinations. 
I'm a big fan of these. Actually, I'm in a probably equipped set of... We'll probably redress our golfer and all new stuff. So there you have it, guys. And then obviously there's the glove as well from Footjoy and Titleist that we saw. I think there was both. Yep. This new pink glove from Titleist. We'll equip that because obviously you want to use the stuff from the past. <coughs> Excuse me. And then a, uh, a Footjoy stuff. So there you have it, guys. Everything unlocked for the new PGA 2K21 Clubhouse Pass. If you're not buying it or you're not, you don't have enough coins to unlock it all, you have 91 days to unlock everything um, that's available in the pass. And again, I know that one of the, the patches included a 60 FPS toggle for console. So if you're a console player playing on a new gen, you can now play this game at 60 FPS. Uh, that's going to make things so much smoother. And it actually, you'll see, it'll make your swing more consistent because the more FPS, the more consistent that your tempo can actually be. Uh, it's going to be a really good treat for you guys. I'm really excited about this new pass. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. We'll be making club videos uh, coming up here in the next couple of days. I'll update my club bags. I'll update all of that for you. And uh, we'll have that for you soon. Until next time, guys, Blue out. Peace.